from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your weather today. Hey guys, Fred Gossage here in the Tennessee Valley Weather Center. Well, in the home weather center on this Friday morning with your latest forecast update. And we've had a few showers and thunderstorms working through the area early on this Friday morning. Nothing has been severe, not expected to be severe. Just some rain and some rumbles of thunder across the area. We may see a shower or thunderstorm into the afternoon, but rain chances for the most part likely to take a break for a large part of the area today. And then just scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head forward to start out our weekend. Here's the high resolution modeling for today. By the mid to late morning, you see those showers and <clears throat> those showers and thunderstorms we've had before daybreak. Shifting off to the east of the area will be partly cloudy as we head through the day. Highs this afternoon in the upper 80s, lower 90s. Can't rule out a few showers or thunderstorms, but most of us stay dry. And the bigger rain chances likely off to our south today this afternoon and evening. But a few stray thunderstorms possible this afternoon, especially over northwest Alabama and northeast Mississippi. As we head to the evening, partly cloudy skies overnight. Any leftover shower ends very early during the evening in the lows near 70 for tonight and then going into saturday more showers and thunderstorms develop off to the north west of our area as we go into saturday morning and those sink in here during the midday and the afternoon maybe a few rumbles of thunder some gusty winds locally heavy rainfall no big severe weather threat with this but that looks to move into the area during the midday afternoon and maybe a few lingering showers and thunderstorms into the evening hours and then as we head forward through the weekend, more the same as we head into our Sunday as well. A few showers and thunderstorms around. We have a frontal boundary moving into the area Monday into Monday evening. And that may offer a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Not looking like a widespread heavy rain event though as the front moves in. And then that brings drier and cooler air into the area for Tuesday into Wednesday. We may be mostly sunny here with cool skies by the middle of cool temperatures and clear skies that is by the middle of the week here with temperatures getting well back down into the mid 80s if not the lower 80s across the area by tuesday and wednesday here's the temperature trend and for today upper 80s to near 90 across the area a little warmer on the weekend especially saturday daytime highs in the lower 90s over southern middle tennessee heat index values may be over 100 on saturday so stay hydrated if you're going to be outside that's going to depend on how early those midday and afternoon storms move into the area. If they speed up just a little bit, that could keep us into the 80s for daytime highs instead of sneaking up into the lower 90s. Near 90 for Sunday and Monday, but ahead of that front. And then the front moves in Monday night and knocks us back down to the low to mid 80s for daytime highs as we head into the middle and latter part of the upcoming week ahead. Here's the same temperature trend for northwest Alabama. Lower 90s for this afternoon with partly cloudy skies with a few showers, thunderstorms not being able to be ruled out, but most of us probably dry. And then getting closer to the middle 90s over the weekend, that may be a little warm, though, if those showers and thunderstorms start a little earlier in the day over the weekend. So we'll watch that carefully. But if we do get into the mid-90s, heat index values could definitely be up over 100. And then that front sneaks in here Monday night and also dropping us back down to the 80s as we head to Tuesday and Wednesday for northwest Alabama. Maybe not quite as cool as southern middle Tennessee, but still it looks like definitely below 90 degrees for a couple days here. There's the latest extended forecast. Kelly Rawson is going to be back this evening with another update to your forecast. I want to thank you for your patience for the past week or so as we've had to temporarily say goodbye to our TV weather graphics system because the computer's being moved from one building to the other. I do have some good news. It's not a guarantee, but we're very likely going to be able to get our TV weather graphics system back going in time for the evening forecast today. We've certainly missed being able to show you high-resolution future cast and the hourly planners and the seven day and the satellite radar composite and the sky cams and everything you're used to in our weather cast that's going to be coming back soon most likely by the evening forecast but if not this evening it will be coming back very soon we're not going to be on camera on the green screen just yet but that's not too far down the road either as studio work continues to get closer to completion here at the new broadcast facility in Lawrenceburg. We'll continue to keep you updated on everything again. Kelly Rossman back in the Forecast Center this evening with another update to your local weather. Have a great Friday, everybody.